I mean, we're here. It's we're so close. And I, I was thinking earlier about how amazing God is, how he holds back the forces of darkness. I mean, it's just amazing. They, you know, you look at these Luciferians, they're like, okay, we have our goal here and then our goal here. And then, you know, but they, it means nothing. You know, God is totally in control and we have every reason to trust him. And, you know, Kim, you were bringing about, you know, like people are naturally going to be afraid but there's going to be two different types um, in the christian realm there's going to be those that had a relationship because it even goes into detail with daniel 11 how basically christians and i'm just simplifying it christians will with flatteries or whatever by the king of the north will give themselves to that system and give themselves to satan and then there is talks about the other group, which is those that know God, those that know God. And so it's so vital that we really do read the word of God and spend time with him, wrestle with him, pray a lot without ceasing, really experience him. And when we do go through that t tough time, because we got to we got to be real with ourselves. It's not to put fear in anyone's hearts. That's why it's important to get to know God. But the reality is. It's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get crazy. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I, yeah. yeah, I know. Putin showed a video of uh, some that happened in World War II to all his leaders of uh, what happened when the Ukrainians that this these Ukrainian bandits that were basically working for the Nazi Party what they did to the poor people the the atrocities done and I won't say it but were so horrendous so evil so demonic. It doesn't, it just does, it defies logic of why a human being would do that to another human being. It, it makes no sense. And because they're um, not human anymore. They're not, totally, they're not totally human at that point anymore. They're, exactly. they're, they've, they've allowed a dark satanic spirit to come into them that enjoys harming others. That's, that's godless. Exactly. But for us who know God, the beautiful thing is God has his angels watching out for us and we can pray all of us these beautiful prayers as we struggle and wrestle as we wrestle with God right here in Psalm 61 starting with verse 1 hear my cry O God attend unto my prayer from the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than I for thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the cover of thy wings, Salah. For thou, O God, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name or, or uh, reverence thy character, I guess you would say in proper context. Thou wilt prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. Um, he shall abide before God forever, O prepare mercy, truth, which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto thy name, uh, thy character, forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Um, yeah, guys, these are the prayers, if you know God, that we'll be praying in these final moments. So it's so vital that we really get to know God. 